think how we fuel and feed our athletes uh, was something that I really saw as a way that we can make a big improvement. Jared Lambrick, our director of football operations, is working hard to make sure that we're putting the right fuel into our, our student athletes. And we made a lot of strides toward uh, getting our guys fed the right way and in a way that's going to help them perform better. After the first week, guys started feeling better, you know. They thought they would like get skinnier, but they were actually just losing body fat. And as time progressed, Everyone seen their body composition coming up from the, uh, the weight room and eating healthy. Having the med school come in, obviously from an educational standpoint, is phenomenal. We're thinking it's a good opportunity for us to help each other, for our uh, medical students to feel like they're a team with uh, the UCF student athletes. And we get to help them with reaching the nutrition and lifestyle goals for athletic performance. I think that the partnership with the med school here at UCF is gonna be uh, a big part of getting us where we need to get from a nutrition standpoint. Really wanna thank uh, Bob Garvey, uh, Dr. German in the med school, and Dr. Pasarica for their help. I think that we're gonna be able to partner up with several assets like the med school on campus that are gonna be able to be mutually beneficial for both of us. This was a great opportunity for our students to actually practice what I teach them in the class and, and learn much more about motivational interviewing and learn much more about, about this particular science of nutrition and life are for athletic performance. Each week is always something new you learn about food, about just reading labels on the back of whatever you eat. It's just letting you know what all is going into your body, the amount of carbs, carbohydrates, the, the sugars, the protein, and guys looking a little bit healthier. It's been an amazing experience so far. I went to UCF as an undergraduate and watched their football games as a teenager. And to be a part of the program and being able to speak with these athletes has been an amazing experience. Seeing how much progress these young men have made in the last nine months to, to be able to get to August when we report, we just feel like we can really build on what we did in the spring and into the fall, and we're going to have a way better product on the field. They've taken it all in with open arms simply because of the workload that is laid on them. Probably day one was probably a, a survival instinct. You know, I, I have to make it through this practice. I have to make it through this lift. Therefore, I'm gonna need to change up what I'm eating. And then it has slowly evolved to uh, getting through to dominating it. I wasn't eating enough calories like to gain proper weight that I wanted to gain. I, I've certainly learned that about eating every like three hours, even if it's like a, not a big meal, but at least a snack, just racking up the calories so you complete uh, the amount that you need to gain the weight or lose your body fat. Just because you eat healthy doesn't mean that the food is not gonna taste good. And Jared has done an outstanding job finding great places and great venues for our players to enjoy these meals at. We all come here before weights and then they have a feeling table there. They'll have, you know, like Greek yogurt, protein bars. We'll eat that first before we work out. And then right when we're done working out, they uh, have protein drinks ready for us. They give us lunch after that about 30 minutes later. And then uh, they give us dinner. That's always very convenient, having it right there, kind of handed to you. Our players have bought in because not only is it a little healthier option, it's healthier options that they're eating, but it's good food. You know once it's there, they're going to eat. Athletes that are training at a high level, they're going to be very hungry. When it's there, it's so much more accessible that you know that they're going to pick up their meal and eat right away. We actually are tracking their sleep. We're tracking different values and we get feedback instantly from it. That allows us to be specific with, this is your type of protein shake you're gonna have. There's an end game here and the end game is, you know, the training table. Uh, that's where we're going with this, is a full-time dedicated training table uh, for athletes. Uh, with that training table comes a full-time sports RD that works with the football players in developing the meals. I think the steps we've taken to improve the nutrition side of, of what we're doing with our student athletes have been the first few steps. I, I think we still have a long way to go, but I also think there's a long way to go in other things that we can do to improve. Uh, we gotta continue to give our guys good proteins, uh, gotta educate them about nutrition. I think our partnership with med school and nutritionists is gonna help a lot with that, and I'm looking forward to seeing where this goes.